Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video of the National Model Railroad Model Railroading Month here on the channel for November 2023. And uh, also, happy Thanksgiving to all the Americans out there. Enjoy your turkey dinner, some footballs, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the day and have Fun. But with that, we're also going to talk about international love. And what do I mean by that? Well, the great thing about model railroading is that it is international. And so we're going to look at some model railroading uh, items that are not typically U.S. Because I typically, again, model U.S. HO scale. But uh, there are also other uh, trains out there in the uh, in the world. So we're going to go ahead and try to capture that real quick. So first, we'll make a trip over to Cotto and Cotto has a wide variety of offerings when it comes to the international trains so um, mostly it is an N scale so they do have some European type of cars that uh, we can see here from uh, all over the, the EU so again nice little helping of um, trains diesels electric diesels uh, steam engines uh, one thing that I love about Cotto, I don't typically model too much in uh, the European. Uh, my wife is actually getting more into that. So we, we're slowly starting to expand our N scale collection. Because again, I can't emphasize enough. If you want to start in a scale that you want to have a nice variety of trains, if you want to mix and match um, American stuff with um, European or maybe Japanese, take a look at N scale. There's a nice wide variety of options uh, to do that. Um, also, Kato has a lot of uh, European bullet trains and Japanese bullet trains. So, as we can see here, they've got a lot of the Japanese type of freight, diesels, um, the typical um, passenger cars, but they also have their famous bullet trains. And that's something that uh, my wife and I have loved a lot lately. So, you can just take a look at some of their catalogs here. Um, you can see all the different style bullet trains that they have. It's just a nice variety of um, just offerings if you want to get into the Japanese model railroading. And along with that Kato track system, it is a match made in heaven. So again, we've got some other uh, Japanese trains here. But yeah, definitely you cannot go wrong with Kato if you want to model uh, European and especially if you want to model Japanese style of trains. So we're going to hop across the pond and we'll talk about some uh, HO and potentially some N scale and G scale type of international trains as well. So we've also got um, Trix, which makes some HO products. We've got uh, the Ice Bullet Train, uh, Electric Locomotive uh, Class BB there, and a wide variety of other things. I love the German steam engines. These, I think these are German. Again, I'm I'm not an expert when it comes to uh, European uh, locomotives, but uh, I, I also love this one, the Class 1189. That's a, I love the quirkiness of these type of uh, locomotives. Yeah, definitely a big fan. Now the big thing when you if you're going to get into the European uh, model railroading, there is something you got to be aware of, and you really got to make sure on the style of power when it comes to. Uh, the models in HO there is there is such thing as you got you know DCC but you also got three rail AC that you have to keep in mind um, it's very similar to like the three rail O gauge but uh, instead of having that solid middle uh, pickup for power it is like little uh, stubs that are in between the rails that pick up that power and most of these locomotives have like a shoe or a sled that picks up that power in the middle. So a little bit different than your typical uh, two rail HO scale. So just something to keep in mind if you're going to uh, collect some of these European uh, models. And then we also got uh, Marklin that has their own uh, DCC system. Again, they also do the three rail HO scale as well. So again, keep in mind, be very cognizant of what you are buying to make sure that you know you don't inadvertently buy a three rail locomotive for a two rail uh, American system so again just keep in mind when uh, you're going through and looking around um, and you kind of see here let's see here I want to see if we can get a good picture of what that looks like uh, let's see here 
Yeah, so you can kind of see it here. You can see the kind of the wiring schematics of the three rail system. Yeah, it doesn't really pick it up well. But again, things to uh, think about when you're going into uh, Marklin tricks and all that. So, All right, uh, we'll jump on over to the G scale. Uh, we got LGB that has a nice variety of offerings when it comes to uh, European G scale models. Again, G scale is typically a uh, garden scale that typically used for outdoors, but you can also have a G scale uh, inside if you wish. Again, it is your railroad. Do what you want with it, but a uh, nice variety of uh, offerings when it comes to G scale and European models. So again, nice, nice helping there. Uh, and then we'll also go the other way. We'll go to uh, Australia. So we have the Australian modeler. Again, I'll have all the links down below if you want to uh, explore on your own, if you want to get into some of these international trains. Uh, so we've got a wide variety of coaches, um, hopper, coal hoppers, um, display cases, uh, passengers, uh, particular diesels when it comes to Australia. So again, a wide variety of offerings if you want to model into those particular scales. So kind of another thing I love to do, again, I'm a big fan of YouTube. So if you always want to research more or just want to see someone else have a different model style than yourself, um, here's some um, European, or excuse me, some international YouTubers that uh, model different scales or and model different uh, um, different country models. So we got the um, Oz American Model Railroad, always known as Artie. He does a lot of Australian uh, content because he lives over there. Um, we got some rail fanning for uh, Australian locomotives, and he also models both Australian and some American models. But uh, if you want to look more into the Australian model railroads, uh, feel free to check out um, Artie. Uh, going over to the European side, we got um, Anthony Dodge and the Model Train Outsider. He models three rail European locomotives, so he's got a lot of the uh, the Marklin uh, system out there. And you can kind of see when it comes to that track, you can see that little stubs in the middle that give it the three rail uh, AC power. And that's really what he specializes in. Does a live stream once a week and uh, some other unboxing and so forth. Um, he does make trips to Germany, so he does have a video on the, um, the miniature Wonderland, which... I was thinking about doing a video independent to this. Uh, I may still do it in a different uh, video. Let me take a look here. Potentially, but um, if I don't, then I'll just at least mention it here. Um, one of the more beautiful uh, museums that you can go to is in Europe, in Germany. It is Miniature Wonderland, and it is just spectacular. So again, take a look at uh, his visit there. Also, just you know, Google it. It's a, a great great layout so it has a lot of cool new tech and just takes the hobby to the most extreme that you can imagine so it, it really is a museum of how far can we take model railroading they're pretty much on the cutting edge when it comes to that and then finally uh, kind of one of my guilty pleasures right now is uh, over on the Japanese side we've got the uh, diorama shakudu uh, dioramas with cats so <laughs> what's cool about this is that it's pretty much a combination of a of a uh, pet shelter uh, cat cafe and n scale Japanese train so they basically have this n scale layout that the cats are allowed to walk around and it's so cute it's just one of those things that you see the cats uh, try to play with the trains and they tend to knock it over on the camera uh, car and it's just it's one of those things that just remind you how cool and diverse this hobby really is. So uh, the individuals there can control the trains and they can play with the cats. You can see that uh, the person driving this train is playing with a little kitty here. So it's just it's just one of those things that's so cool to see that you got this hybrid shelter cat cafe and just playing with trains. Like who would have thought, you know, who would have thought so. Uh, but with that, guys, that's pretty much a quick highlight of the international model railroading. Again, not necessarily my expertise, so I'll leave all the links for everything I talked about down below. Uh, feel free to find something that uh, you may enjoy in. Uh, let me know down below if you collect any of these model railroading overseas. Do you collect Japanese and N-scale? Uh, do you do the German trains from uh, HO and Marklin? Let me know down below. Leave a like, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.